All right, guys. So today, still not working, not much because really I've just got a lot of thinking to do right now. And today we're gonna do some thinking out loud. So um, we may get a little ended, we may do a little work, um, but overall, it's 81 time. So here's all I got going on. Y'all remember we pulled that motor out of this thing? I ain't done a lot of tinkering with it since the fan off of it, starter off of it flywheel clutch took all that stuff off but um anywho so something that we're currently dealing with is still got i've actually forgot to take this mount off but will our oil pan work so we're currently trying to figure out if the oil pan off of 429 will work on this and i don't see any reason it shouldn't clear because the way that they got the motor mount set up is it sets here that old pen should set back there. I don't think we're gonna have a problem because it's a rear sump old pan, so the back of it will be right there. So I really don't think that's gonna be a problem. That's what uh, we were we was worried about. But so this weekend maybe I'm going to go pick up a donor truck, and and I, I wanted to keep this thing original and I wanted to restore it. But as you can see, we got some bad rust. This was the worst of it right here and I've already gotten some new parts for this thing that I found off of when they were junking and they let me have some parts but my main concern is this cab uh damn there are spider webs everywhere in there all right that's what happens whenever you don't mess with something for like two fucking months yeah let me get these webs out of here and I'll get back to y'all Okay, so I got a good bit of them out, but if you'll look at the rust, I can't even see all that well. There it is. Okay, that right there runs all the way across above the doors over there, and it's even on this side. This cab is bad, and that's without even pulling the vinyl out. Now the bed off of the truck I'm getting it's a, it is a standard bed I am keeping the step side look um, just in case anybody was worried about that I have had a couple of my friends that were worried about that they said oh you buy don't try keeping the right bed right keeping the step side bed I love that look um, but yeah so I want to get this other truck uh, it's two hundred dollars so you know two hundred dollars I think that's a good I think that's a good little donor truck we may get some dash pieces out of it and stuff you know and uh, we still are going to pull the dash of this thing, but I'm going to have to get over the broom and sweep the spiders and more of this mess out. But, um, yeah, guys, so that's something I wanted to talk about. Uh, we have a column figured out. See, and this door right here, I believe, can be fixed. Um, I don't have a new driver's side door, and I don't have a new driver's side fender. And I think the ones on the donor trap are messed up. But I think that this fender and that door may be salvageable. Um, if not, it'll just be a lot of work, but it'll just be those two things. Because I have a new passenger side fender from where this one got damaged, and I have a new driver's side door. Or, uh, did I just say driver's side? I mean, passenger side. Sorry, guys. Passenger side fender and passenger side door, I do have new ones of. So, and if I get the donor truck, that means, because this was something I was concerned about. Um, these are F100 I-beams. They're very small compared to uh, regular size I-beams. Did not know that at the time, but they are, they're very small. So I do want to put F-150 I-beams under here at a minimum, because uh, we do have F-250 springs, and I don't know, with that big block motor, the I-beams are just awful small, plus they're rusted real bad, so regardless, I want to try to take them off and uh, clean them. But um, I guess what we'll do is we'll go pick us up some torches. I'll get out here with some WD-40 and start soaking these things. That way they can sit here and soak for a couple days. And we'll try to start unbolting some more of this stuff. Because I got a feeling these are going to be a pain. If you look at the amount of rust on them, these are going to be a pain in the butt. Um, But yeah, guys. It's just, with the whole cab deal, I mean, that thing is so rusted. It just may be better to just swap the whole cab. And, um, yeah, and we'll get a new hood. A new, because it's a 1980. So it is the same exact truck, basically. This one's an 81. That one's an 80. They only made the Ford on the hood 
for two years. They only made the Ford on the hood with the special grill for two years. And I get the grill. Uh, the cheapest grill I can find is like $150. So th that's going to help me a ton right there just getting the grill out of it. And it's got a bumper, wheels, tires. I mean, it's a complete truck. So, yeah. And then maybe we'll turn it into a fun little like mud truck or something later on after we, you know, rob all the parts off of it and put all the crap ones on it. So, yeah. I know the, the last few videos I've been talking, guys, and I know I keep saying I'm going to make a video. And I've been trying. But I've been working hard on that red truck up there where I go to school at. That's been like not, it's been taking up a lot of my time. Um, we're at the current process room. We think it needs a torque converter and uh, a good a good carbon cleaning. That's what we think we're at. So, and then a tune up, obviously. But yeah. So overall, we're doing okay as far as our projects are coming on. The 429. Um, I've got some pictures on my Instagram. My Instagram is the same thing as my YouTube, XX Daddy 99. You can go check out some of the pictures there. But I'm going to take some more whenever I get back because it's, it's pretty much done. I mean, it is close. Old pan's still not on because I was coming out here to check out this today. And I'm going to snap some pictures of how, of how the motor mounts go on and how, where the old pan sits and all that stuff. But, yeah, I think we're going to be pretty good overall and um, hopefully once we get springs attached you know we can actually put wheels on this thing and maybe even set it on the ground but yeah I still don't have a spring over here because I don't have that bushing but if I get another if I get this donor truck I'll have that bushing um, at least part of one anyway that'll work you know until I can get new ones later on down the road because all this is going to, have to be disassembled again anyway for the frame to be sandblasted and stuff like that so because we got to sandblast the frame and we got to do a little bit of welding here but nothing too tragic i don't believe that's going to get replaced but like i said it's a good thing for a donor truck if you have a project like this and you know it's been said and forgot on us how long you find a bunch of rust and stuff sometimes your better method is to get a donor truck because by the time i got done doing all the metal work on that i could have done bought another cab so I'm just going with the, I'm, I'm going with the smart solution, you know. So, yeah, and when I still do want to get the steering column out of this thing, um, which is actually just a bolt right here, and then that can pull through. And then we'll leave our, we'll probably redo all of this, we're at the rag joint, and then we'll probably do a new steering box to save face, new pitman arm idler. And new drag links, obviously. Even though these drag links really aren't the worst I've ever seen. I mean, but, yeah, this truck's been sitting forever, so all that's going to get replaced. So, yeah, guys. That's a that's a, the majority of it. Um, the bed is going to actually have to be redone. That's going to be the majority of my work that I see right now. Because you can see we got rust bubbling up through here, so we're going to have to weld the new metal there. I mean, I may just still try to get me a driver's side fender. I may still try to do that since this one's got a good bit of rust on it. But, driver's side, door, just the driver's side, and then the entire bed. Because you can even see rust forming right there. It's a good bit of work. We'll have to do some fiberglass repairs because this bed, these bedsides have been damaged. Or we might be able to just get new bedsides. Uh, I don't know. So, yeah, guys. So that's the deal with the 81 right now. I haven't really messed with it a lot. I've been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of working at the school up there. And what I may try to do for the week after this one, because this is the week of the fourth, so I'm off. So I'll probably have a video completely uncorrelated. Um, maybe just me doing some other things. But I will have a video this week. But the week after that, I'm going to try to take my camera to the school, actually, and get y'all some shots of what the red truck's looking like. It is looking great. It's got some new 31 inch tires on it. Oh, looks amazing. And uh, maybe I'll take some shots of the 429 so you can see what it looks like too, just in case you don't want to go to the Instagram and stuff like that. But if you do, if you do, at the end of this video, I'll have a link to it. Maybe. And unless I can't figure it out, then it won't be there. But um, yeah. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I know things have been crazy the last couple of weeks. We haven't been getting videos like we're supposed to be, but. I'm, I'm working my butt off guys and I'm trying to get as much done as I can in as little time as I can 
because I had to have a body shop. I do have the body class coming up real soon, so I have to. I, we got to get back out here and start busting some butt on this thing. So yeah, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.